have three impression mats. This is got have some fun flowers, and I'm just going to show you how to roll the marble ice fondant onto this. I'm going to put a little bit of powdered sugar, flop it around, and then I'm going to put the excess into the off to the side. You don't need a lot. This has a wonderful non semi non-stick surface. I'm going to invert this upside down. I'm going to dust off a little bit of the powdered sugar. I don't want too much when I apply it to the cake. And the most important thing is you get one shot at this. If you don't get a good impression at this shot, you will have to redo it. You can roll one stroke one way and you're done. You can't roll back and forth side to side. You'll go over another impression and it won't, it won't look right. So you really have to be heavy handed with this and give it a hard hit. Okay, here we go. And make sure your cake is off to your side, ready to drape it. All right. So depending on your favorite way to apply fondant, this isn't a large cake, so I don't need to take the whole thing and plop it on. I'm just going to invert it onto the table and then I will peel back. And I got pretty lucky. I got a good impression. But this is something you might want to practice. Now I'm ready to drape it over my cake that's all ready to go. And I'm just going to lightly apply it, just kind of drop it. Not heavy handed, because I, I don't want to stretch my pattern or my design. And I'm just going to gently, gently touch and tuck. Just gently pat it down. I'm kind of pushing up so I can keep the pattern. I'm pushing up towards the design so I'm not stretching it. You can see if I could pull on this, but I'm just kind of pushing it in and that just keeps your de design nice and tight. There we go. See how I got that flower back into its shape again? And if you need a, a quick refresh before you apply it, just airbrush some water onto your cake and it'll stick a lot better. For more fondant products and ideas, please visit our website at decopack.com.